uh, athletics as an event is basically uh, it's a sporting and fun uh, games uh, for uh, artists and their family. Uh, it's usually uh, about a three-day event, two two nights and three days, uh, where uh, you know there's a a fellowship among artists and their families. We get to know each other uh, better. These things ran for several years now, so uh, you have to uh, recall that this started in 2009. And uh, from this experience, uh, we were able to expand our uh, network of artists, um, not just within Metro Manila, but even artists coming from the regions. After that, we organized Project Bakawan, which was a two-month-long event held inside uh, the campus of UP Diliman. No? Uh, and this time it is a multidisciplinary event involving uh, the other uh, uh, disciplines in the arts uh, music, theater, film, uh, oh, whatever, mga, ano pa nga ba? photography, no? and, and, all, and, and those things. After uh, organizing uh, uh, Project Bakawan, uh, we started with uh, Paghilom, uh, a similar event only this time. Uh, it's like a combination of uh, athletics and uh, Project Bakawan where we have a multidisciplinary event or festival, uh, but at a much shortened version. So like we did it for three days. Um, Again, uh, representing uh, the different uh, disciplines, no? uh, but spearheaded mainly by visual arts. Um, so, and this time uh, there was more participation from within the locality, meaning uh, people, uh, art groups, uh, and individuals within Cavite. No? Uh, so uh, this went on for uh, three years, and was even, uh, and we were even able to uh, take it out of uh, other areas. Uh, so we, we held events in Bicol, uh, and as well as in Cagayan, Cagayan Province. So, but uh, right after that, we had to stop because of the uh, pandemic. Uh, we were at present um, hosting several artists from the regions as part of uh, a, uh, an art uh, residency that we designed for them. So initially, uh, what we did was just to provide uh, a place for uh, the artists from the regions where they can uh, prepare for their exhibits here in Metro Manila. As time went, uh, we got more involved with uh, uh, other things. Uh, among that is we were also involved with uh, assisting uh, the uh, recovery, rehabilitation, and, and support for the victims of the Taal volcano eruption. Uh, and we were uh, we also helped raise funds for that. No, uh, so the, these were the experiences that uh, help us gradually uh, define uh, how we can uh, deal with um, the the vision of. Uh, affecting no? uh, the culture uh, within the art scene, not just within the art scene, more than that, it's more of a how art itself can be an effective uh, agent uh, to affect the, the, the national culture. No? So, and we sort of realize that uh, doing art festivals uh, alone uh, would not really uh, get the idea across given the limited time uh, that it engages the artist. No? 
So uh, in our observation, uh, many of the attendees went there and participate mainly because it's a break from uh, their usual routine. Uh, and uh, with the limited number of, uh, say, talks, lectures, and workshops, uh, it was not enough to really um, impart uh, an idea uh, as clearly as we could when we can hold a uh, an art residency with mentorship. No? So that's where it started. We decided that we need to do, uh, we need to include a component, not just uh, a component, but it becomes the central feature of the residency. No? So um, it, it comes from the realization that uh, many practicing artists, whether they are products of fine arts schools or not, or, or, or whether they are self-taught, um, there is uh, a, uh, an, an evident uh, deficiency in terms of their grasp of uh, art history and, and uh, consequently uh, theory along with that. No? So, um, and we decided that that's going to be the main component of the mentorship in uh, the residency. Linangan's art residency program was, a, was the result of a constant search for the most effective way to empower young artists so they can impact their communities positively and um, be agents of transformation. So um, we have been doing art educational um, initiatives such as workshops. We also designed local art festivals exhibits to engage the young artists the local artists in uh, and share their talents um, as well as to educate them on the importance of art and the artists role in society the impact that they can give they can make so upon assessing evaluating the impact of the programs that we've done in the past uh, we uh, from the feedbacks we received, it was the art educational activities that really um, made deep um, transformation for the participants of the of those programs. So we decided to focus on education through the arts, and then specifically the artist education. Um, it's not just educating the communities in general, but we wanted to focus on developing artists because we realized that if we develop an artist, it's his or her impact to her community is exponential than just um, throwing creative seeds or, or educating the general public because it's really the artists, we believe, that, um, that can be leaders in their communities through their art. So uh, given that, we prototyped a residency program. We started with one artist from Iloilo, that's PJ Cabanalan. Um, and then uh, we tried getting more artists as we saw the success and the impact of the program on the artists. So then we had two, and then we tried four artists each batch. Um, and then, I mean, the, the pandemic came, and the lockdowns um, really had us adjusting a lot of things and putting things into perspective as to what art is really about, um, actually what our lives are even about. <laughs> so aside from just developing artists for their career, for their, I mean, personal um, growth in their chosen fields, um, suddenly, we, we had to think seriously about 
um, what what is the arts role? What what are the role of artists in in the society given this time where life or life as we know it is is changing its meaning or the lifestyles we've lived, the belief systems that has proven um, convenient for a lot of people are actually being challenged. Uh, so we wanted to think about that more deeply. And in the residency program, we, in, we, um, we included art history classes, philosophy classes, and discussions so that we can together talk about and figure out what are, what, what are we going to do? What have artists done in the past um, that really has impacted their society? So um, the residency program became more a mentorship and um, idea concept development program. So aside from that, with the pandemic came uh, other crisis, natural crisis that really pushed us to find ways to give uh, practical contributions to our community. The first one in January, aside from the aside from the pandemic outbreak, was the Taal volcano eruption, which was just near us and affected a lot of our neighboring um, uh, our neighbors in the neighboring provinces. So we had to accommodate evacuees from Batangas. And that was an opportunity to, to connect again with our immediate community. And we did a fundraiser for that. And it's amazing how artists can be so <laughs> generous, even in a pandemic time where I mean, some of them do not have opportunities uh, themselves. But it, they, are ones, they are some of the first ones to really act and give for the for the fundraising and from from their art i mean in, in one way um we were able to donate and give food to more than ten thousand people um, for more than a month in, in the evacuation areas here in alfonso so with that we saw the again the other avenues wherein artists can can work together and actually collectively impact their communities. And aside from the Taal volcano eruption, there we also had uh, an artist who whose village whose uh, there was an outbreak of fire in their uh, in their neighborhood, and a lot of uh, more than four hundred families were displaced so again this time we we wanted artists not only to give artworks just to sell them but to actually empathize connect with what the people are going through